Jangle them bells and frolic Oh by gosh, some stolly Eggnog, gin and tonic Make Yuletide gay and jolly Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new video and today we are going to the garden centre. Is there anything more festive than a garden centre at Christmas? I think not. I would actually like to venture out and go to some different garden centres. However, the local one is just a really good one and I've still got anxiety when I'm driving like long distances. So I tend to leave the long distance driving up to hubby. So if we're going anywhere like further afield, um, it's always him that's driving, but then I'm restricted because I have to wait for him like for the weekends and things like that. And you've only got a certain amount of weekend time, haven't you, to fit those things in. So I'm just waiting for Joelle to finish unit and then we can get going. Um, until then, what do we think about the lighting? I've been messing around this morning and I figured out, because we're backlit, if you didn't notice from the first video, it made me look super weird because not only are we backlit, we've got all the glowing lights from the Christmas tree and there's just so much going on behind me, the fire and all sorts. I need some natural light in front of me. I've got no box lighting every year. I say to myself, I'm going to get some box lighting, but I don't like artificial lighting, you guys, but I do struggle in the winter filming these videos. So um, what I've done is opened up the blind on the further side so the light's shining behind you. And then the second window panel, I've opened that as well. And then I've shut this one so that it's not looking weird from behind me. Anyway, is it a bit better? I'm sure you guys will let me know. Also, I've used some straighteners to curl the ends of my hair today. And although I've just done it and it looks a little bit like a Springer Spaniel, <laughs> doesn't everyone walk out the hairdressers after having the hair curled by straighteners look like Springer Spaniels? Or is that just me? Like every single person looks the same. <laughs> but um, yeah, um. I've curled it with straighteners on the ends. Now, I've not done this for quite some time, so I didn't know if it was gonna go very well, but my hair just does not hold a curl. So although it's quite tight curled at the moment, because I've just done it, I'm going to leave it and see if it drops out today. So we'll see, we'll find out. And I still need to have a go with the heatless curls as well. I did say I was gonna do that with you guys. We will do that soon, I promise. It's just that I've just not had the time at the moment. But what else have I got to catch you guys up on? Um, the dramas, the dramas with Vlogmas video one. I cannot even cope with how long that video took to upload. I, I, spent, I spent a full day uploading and started like, first thing in the morning by six o'clock which is when my videos usually go live out to you guys it is uploaded i think 40 percent something like that it said 50 hours remaining and i was just so disappointed i'm so sorry and that's all i can say really it is what it is I should have been more prepared in advance, which I was, and then I've deleted the flipping footage, so we have to start again initially anyway. Yeah, we're not going to um, dwell on it too much, but what a drama that was. Hopefully, we're back on track now, and I've learned a massive lesson. I'm going to just, like, be even more organised. <laughs> oh, also, I wanted to mention my bathrobe i am getting an influx of messages about my bathrobe some on here most of them are on my instagram and i think it's because i'm you'll see me in my bathrobe quite a lot <laughs> over this time of the year it's gone super cold if you haven't noticed it went from I live up here in the north, Greater Manchester, and it went from autumn still to just like bang cold winter the other day. Like I could see my breath. And yeah, I thought it was quite mild so far, but it's it's literal winter now. I know it. And I'm never out of my bathrobe. I've been getting a lot of questions about it. It's the Soho House bathrobe. They sell it in John Lewis, Selfridges. Now it is a little bit expensive and this was a gift um three years ago believe it or not and it's the fluffiest as you can see i'm still getting comments where did you get your bathrobe from it's the fluffiest 
bathrobe the most luxurious bathrobe you will ever have in your life and quality is fantastic three years i've not had to buy a new bathrobe and it's still as fluffy as ever as you can see and it's like mid axi style so yeah it's the soho house bathrobe and i will link it as well down in the description box down below if you're looking to gift yourself something this year treat yourself then i would totally recommend this dressing gown I'm going to stop wittering on now and we're going to go to the garden centre. Okay guys, we have landed at the garden centre. This is our local garden centre and oh my god, the displays. Quick thumbnail moment. Okay, it's so exciting. I don't even know where to start, but basically these owls. How nice are these owls? A family of owls, the large one is... A lot of money so it seems what 90 pound for the big one guys but i'm really into the woodland theme if you haven't noticed we've got a singing little robin oh my gosh lots of foliage my creative mind is just going wild so we seem to be in the woodland section and i'm just loving it in this section this gonk is amazing and guys, I'm doing a voiceover because they're playing Michael Bublé in the background. Unfortunately, I don't want to get demonetized so or copyrighted. So yeah, we have to do voiceovers and I'll pop on some Christmassy music in the background for you guys. Oh, they've got these like alternative Christmas trees. More of a woodland theme. This seems to be set up in a greenhouse type of vibe. And oh my god, I can see all the woodland creatures. They've got twinkling lights on everything. They've got like little wooden burlap stars. They've got mummy and like mummy and child. Um, what is that? Deer. Oh my god, I love it. Honestly, you guys, I could live in the woods. <laughs> this Christmas tree setup has got all the woodland creatures inside it. They've teamed it with the bronzy coloured baubles as well. How nice. It's so festive. It's giving me all the feels, the woodland feels. This bauble is beautiful. It's like a feathered effect. Oh my God. Moving on. These wooden acorn style frosted baubles these are absolutely stunning love those and then we've got these owls how nice oh my god and then oh there's just so much there's just so much i don't know where to look next joelle's pointing out all the favorites they are expensive three four and five pounds some of these decorations but beautiful nonetheless Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at this, how nice. This is really affordable. But you can't beat garden center decorations, you just can't. And if you were to buy a couple of things a year to add to your collection, like a couple of special pieces, you'd soon end up with like a large collection. However, if you change the theme every year, then um, you're just gonna have no money in my, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> They've got these little robins with like, they look like real feathers. $24.99 they're selling these twigs for and I foraged mine absolutely free of charge. So they've got a family of woodland creatures and they've got more like little birds, fluffy birds in these neutral colours. They're absolutely stunning. And then they've got these glass baubles, like frosted glass baubles with like pampas, different kind of foliage inside. So nice. I absolutely love that vibe. And then I've never seen so, something so beautiful. They've got these wooden style baubles. Moving on, we've got this sleigh with all the woodland decor inside, all the foliage and the twinkling lights and the fluffy plush toys and they've even got what is that with the horns not even sure but look at this naked tree with just the birds on it it's just a vibe 
and then they've got even like alternative trees like i said just trunks with just twigs on them moving into the white section they've got this candle display and these glass christmas trees more ornaments for styling up your mantelpiece and your shelves these wings are absolutely stunning how nice are they oh my god they give me all the feels the reason for the season angel gabriel vibes And if you're lucky enough to have a massive big house with possibly a big porch, then they do sell these uh, stags, these winter stags. They're absolutely gigantic. Couldn't tell you how much they are, but I'm guessing they're a hell of a lot of money. And then, oh, wow. And then next to that, we have this Christmas tree and it's done in like winter white and navy, a splash of navy. And I think that's absolutely beautiful. They've got these hanging gonk decorations with like super long beards. And these are $3.99 each. Okay, moving on to a more like feminine vibe over here. We've got this gorgeous, absolutely stunning raspberry colored tree. It's, it's like a vintage raspberry and it's beautiful. Imagine that color with all the browns together. That would be absolutely stunning stunning so they've used foliage and different kind of baubles to create this vibe it's gorgeous on a green tree so all the earthy tones and then moving around they've got the big blossom trees i think they sell them all year round <laughs> this bus was here last time you can actually get inside it and have like a photo opportunity but we're not kids anymore as much as i'd like to do that I thought I'd have a whip round the rest of the store to just get some vibes for the house and the renovations. And this lounge and the pieces that they've styled in this lounge, some of them, are absolutely a vibe for the new house. That chair is incredible and they've got a tiny little version on this side. How nice with the tweed, oh my gosh. So we are looking for sofas, but it's not going to be until well after Christmas. But what a vibe are these Chesterfields, these old leather Chesterfield vibes. I love them. And then everything does stop for tea because we've landed in the cafe and I think we're going to treat ourselves to a cream tea. Probably Joelle's going to have a cream tea because I've got Invisalign in. So this is just torturous looking at all these homemade cakes and biscuits <laughs> they don't they look so good oh my gosh and then these shortbread there's nothing better than shortbread iced biscuits oh it's like torturous i wish i could eat them so so much they've got this cappuccino cake hubby would love that joelle's got tea and cream tea basically she's got a scone jam and some clotted cream little strawberry preserve and she likes scones with currants in ew and yeah she's gonna have a nice cup of tea and i'm just going to watch her with my invisalign in silver lining guys all the calories that i am not consuming so we're back home <laughs> to my delight now don't get me wrong i love going out okay and i love days out but it exhausts me and i don't know why um, I do love it, but I love more than ever to come home. I am a home bird, so I'm sorry if you get a little bit of cabin fever on my channel. I do love being at home, and that's why I invest in my home and my surroundings so much, because I love spending time at home. Anyway, I picked up some bits from the garden centre. I thought I would show you what I picked up picked up these neutral little birds which I think are gonna work really well on I've got some twigs that I foraged <laughs> Brie do you know what they sold these twigs um all sprayed up silver and glittered and they sold these twigs for 25 pounds in the garden center and I got mine for free so and I think they look really effective so I didn't have to buy the twigs 
but I bought a couple of little, um, actually, how much were these? So a pack of two, and these were £3.50. Some of the decorations are like a fiver each for one decoration. Now they are absolutely beautiful. And if you do the collecting a special one every year, then I suppose if you're just buying one or two, then that's okay but imagine if you had to like decorate a full-on tree from scratch oh my god like money bags hello yeah i picked up these three pound fifty so i didn't think these were bad for two and you've got to have two where why can't you see them properly and you've got to have two together aren't you because they're little love birds well i'm calling them love birds i don't know what kind of birds they are but i thought these would look absolutely lovely on the twigs in the office and then I also picked up, so this one was $5.99 and it is micro LED and then the rest is in German, so I don't know what you would call it. Basically, it's a big massive glass bauble on a rope. I'm going to take it out and show you. A big massive, gla a big, massive glass bauble on a rope so you can hang it. And bear with me, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with it in a minute. <laughs> and it's got a battery pack, so it takes three batteries. So I've got some batteries here so that we can both have a look at it together. I did actually see these lit up in the garden centre, which is why oh, I wanted to... How do you open it? Which is why I wanted them. Oh my gosh, come on. Joelle, I can't open this. Somehow, it says open and then, oh, I've got it, it's all right, thank you. Yeah, sorry. Why is it not working? They're the wrong way. Okay, oh, and then, oh. <gasps> <Yeah. laughs> pardon me, I'm so sorry about that. We're going to get there in a minute, Hans. Why is that not working? Okay. Right, start again. Stop it. Hey, it's working. First of all, I don't know how I'm going to hide this big battery pack hanging, but I'm, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll get creative and I'll figure it out. But basically, it's a rope. And it's like a bronze... It's a bronzy coloured glass bauble with lights inside it. It's coming up quite light on there. It's actually more bronzier in real life. And I think they're absolutely stunning with the rope. They're going to go really, really well in my dining area. So I've picked them up and I'm going to hang them from the ceiling. We're going to do that in a separate video together. So you will be seeing these again. But I picked up the small one. It's small, I say. It fits in my whole hand. Oh, I feel like I'm on the um, Desperate Housewives. And I also bought the exact same thing in the bigger version. So this is a 14 centimeter one, and this one was 7.99. They also did another bigger one. So I might go back and get the bigger one, you know. Depends how well this looks together. But I've got a plan, Stan, and it's going in the dining area for Christmas. We're going to do that in a separate video because I really want to go to town with my table skip this year. So we're going to do that in a different video coming soon. Anyway, let's go into the office and decorate these twigs. I really can't stay. It's cold outside. I've got to go away. This evening has been so very nice. I'll take you. No. <laughs> <laughs> the rest. My mother will start to worry. <laughs> My father will be pacing the floor. I really had better scurry. Or oh, maybe just a half a glass more. <laughs> So we are here in the office and these are the twigs I was telling you guys about. Literally foraged them, they're real twigs. Foraged them from the park and 
I just feel like they look really effective. I did have my bats on these twigs for Halloween and I thought they looked really Halloween-y. So I'm going to add my birds on, on here. Sorry guys, I needed two hands for that. But how cute are they? Two little love birds in the twigs. And I just feel like it fits in with the woodland theme. So we do need to have a restyle in the office here. And yeah, we need to have a rejig. But as you can see, we're losing daylight very fast and the lighting's not great. I'm going to include the decorating the office in the next video. But I'm going to leave it here and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Take care, guys. Bye.